Pedro was able to bring out the texture of the place as well as the texture of what it was made of. He was able to photograph it in such a way that you could see the reality of the material. And that's very unusual in photography because of the flatness of the photograph itself. He clearly had absolutely the right instincts. Pedro clearly reacted to Wright's architecture and was able to establish a way of recording it that pleased both himself and Mr. Wright. The reason that the 4x5 camera was the tool of choice was because it offered the highest degree of control of the way your image looked on the ground glass and was recorded. You want to have the maximum flexibility in terms of the way in which you move the lens relative to the film. It was all about control. And the more control you had, and the more you used that control when needed, the better your resulting photographs were likely to be. Ordinarily, the photographers aren't out in high noon. But in this case, I was coming around the corner and I saw that all the lines were completely straight down. And if, if I had waited five minutes and the lines would have been different, it wouldn't have been as good a composition. I call it high noon Italius, and that's one of my favorite photos. You know, it was a wonderful thing to walk around and find these things falling into place the way I wanted them to.